Today we are moving into the dining room. We do not have a formal dining space and kitchen nook in our house. This is all in one. So I wanted to bridge a beautiful, formal, and casual look together. Our kitchen opens up to the great room and the dining space. And I wanted the ceiling heights to be varied because our kitchen island is so long, I felt like if we had a flat ceiling carry into the dining room, it would just lose interest. So I wanted it to step up. So we went from 10 feet, stepped it up to 12, and did this beautiful coffered ceiling detail with a shiplap behind it. We worked with Matri to achieve the coffered ceiling. I love that the coffered ceiling has this little lip detail on the edges, and then it ties in with the vertical shiplap that's right next door in our bedroom. My number one thing in this room was that I wanted windows to go all the way to the floor. No gap and I wanted it to feel like a sunroom. I wanted to be able to stand in my kitchen and look out these windows to my kids playing in the backyard. We went with these beautiful linen drapes from the shade store and they extend past the window almost to the coffered ceiling and then kiss the floor. And I didn't just want them to hang on either side. I wanted them to meet in the corner so it felt continuous throughout the entire room. The light fixture, I went through a lot of different options because I wanted it to feel streamlined, a bit traditional, but not too traditional. And I landed on this really broad reaching chandelier from McGee & Co. And it's even wider than the table, but with the height of our ceilings, you don't run into it. And I love how much space it takes up visually without being heavy. The furniture is some of my favorite that we have designed for McGee & Co. We have this racetrack table in this beautiful white oak, the Eloise chairs with the oak and then the woven seat and then upholstered end chairs. The Eloise chairs are on the site. The other two pieces will be coming really soon. My design board for the space since the beginning always included a huge olive tree. So. I have, I don't even wanna say it because I don't wanna jinx it, but this is a live olive tree and it's in the perfect spot because it gets a lot of sun and then we put it in this big planter and then top the table off with vintage pots that I found. We have more of the McGee home to share with you, so stay tuned. And as always, you can find more photos and details on our blog.